All right. Well, let's uh, let's give this a go. What is going on, YouTube? It's Brian here. Uh, I don't even remember how to do this. How I used to, man. It's I can't even do it in today anymore. You know, at least not yet. We got to work back up to it. Not nah, screw it. We're gonna go for it. And today, it is good to be back filming a video. Just sitting down and uh, <laughs> giving this a go. It has been a minute since I have posted a video. You know, I've thought about trying to make one for a long time. Uh, it's been something that's definitely been on my mind. You know, I haven't forgot about it. Haven't forgot about you guys. Uh, I mean, some of you guys I still see a lot because I have been still streaming regularly. That's kind of been the big thing that I've been doing and I found myself passionate about. So if you haven't seen me, that's where I've been. So just before anything else, if you do want to kind of like actually see what I've been up to besides me just talking about it today uh make sure you follow me on twitch just twitch.tv backslash brian redmond if you don't know what twitch is it's just like a live streaming service but it's really fun because it's just like i can literally do anything from just talking to you guys okay okay holly's gonna sleep because she's working hard working hard working hard to doing challenges I, I think i'm close i think i'm gonna qualify is he there Ooh. what playing games i'm gonna make my name i love brian oh <gasps> because then they'll be like i love brian i'm like ah you do that's so cute uh i now open up pokemon cards a lot first pack of christmas let's see if we let's can get some christmas magic here Ooh, we got to do the how many hits we think you know this is our three uh, challenge we do three hits 10 packs i say four hits one two three four all right some champions path to start us off. Obviously, when you're opening champions path, the one card you really want to see is the Charizard, which people could say is most sets. But for example, when we open up, oh my god! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh my yes! god! Anything and everything I've been doing, I've been streaming on Twitch, and that's been super fun. So, but for those of you guys who haven't been watching that, or maybe you kind of forgot about me a little bit, which I wouldn't blame you since I haven't posted videos in God knows how long. I think my last video I did was when I was moving back to Ohio, which was last fall. It's been a minute, so it's good to be back and to be talking to you guys. So I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys about some of you guys maybe haven't watched me or seen me in a bit. Some of you guys may be new, I don't know, but regardless, I'm gonna tell you kind of just, you know, where I'm at in my life, give you a little bit of an insight of what I've been up to and where I plan to go. And I uh, thought, thought this video was necessary to do. So there's no script, just kind of going with it, you know, and gonna see how it goes. If you didn't know, I was living in California, you know, for the past like eight years. What is that, 2012, right? Yeah, so for almost for the past eight years, I was in, in uh, Los Angeles and I was doing like acting stuff, YouTube, obviously, and a bunch of other things. This past fall, I made a very difficult decision to come back home to Ohio, which is where I'm from, and uh, wanted to come back home and kind of, you know, regroup, regather, kind of reevaluate where I was at in my life and what I wanted to be doing. Just like, you know, any of you guys, Guys, like I, my interest and wants and needs are constantly changing and I felt like the best place for me to do that was at home with my family and having my family support but then also to save some money you know because like with COVID like it was so hard to do anything in Los Angeles I couldn't really rationalize you know spending so much money to to be out in LA and not being able to you know utilize it for what I was there to be doing so when I got home you know I wanted to still stream and do some other things that I knew I was wanting to do but I didn't know what I wanted to do with YouTube exactly so I decided to kind of just take a break from it it's not the first time i've taken a break from youtube but it was definitely different you know i just kind of stopped i just kind of like i didn't want to sign into my account i and i also just didn't know like if i really wanted to do it anymore being a youtuber and making content you know, especially someone like me who's had a lot of highs and lows, it's, it's taxing. And as I've gotten older, it made me question if I wanted to still do so much stuff with social media, but also to what extent? Could it just be my full-time thing that I want to be like this huge content creator and just pump out videos and vlog all the time, especially because content's changed. You know, when I first started making content, it was very different back then, you know? So I took some much needed time off and, you know, just enjoyed time with my family and reconnected with some friends. And plus with COVID stuff, I've been just kind of isolated here and haven't been able to do much exciting things anyway. So um, I took some time for myself and I'm starting to finally get to a place where I feel like I'm at a much better place mentally. It's allowed me to kind of evaluate some things and, and 
have a sense of direction and reflect a little bit on what I've done and you know where I'm going. So that's where we are today. So yeah, I uh, you know I mean I've, I've done videos like this before. I'm sure most of you guys who are watching this probably watched those ones because the people that are still here, I feel like you had to be pretty loyal, you know, throughout the time. You know, looking back on all the different things I've done, you know, I started to like certain things and then I grew out of phases and some videos that I used to like to make, I started to hate to make. And I think now I'm at a place, you know, where it's 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 a transitional point for me. I'm doing other things besides YouTube, but I still want to do YouTube. Like I still want to find ways to make things that I find to be interesting. And, and that's what this is going to be from now on. You know, I'm no longer looking at YouTube as like my job where like I'm relying on how many views I get a month to make a living and be able to pay my rent. You know, like it just that's not fun to me anymore. That shit was stressful as hell. I'm going to just be, you know, making some stuff about things that I want to make and kind of whenever I want to make them. You know, I think you're going to see a wide variety of stuff from me. A lot of it's going to come from streaming just because that's where I'm mostly making content nowadays anyway. You know, granted with COVID and stuff, when I wasn't able to go anywhere, it's like, what else can I film? It's just me. So why not just sit here and stream? You know, this is my new, my new little studio. It's kind of messy right now, but it's going to get better and better. But it's really cool. I forgot to turn on my nano leaves back there. A little bit disappointed in that. I feel good. You know, it's just like the best I've felt in a long time. And I hope that shows. Like when I was making my videos, when I, before I kind of stopped, I'm sure you can read. Like you can always tell when someone's engaged or not. You know, like it just reads and like I look back and I'm like, I just you can tell like I, I don't love what I'm doing. He's not happy and I wasn't, you know, and uh, not to say that I'm perfect now because I'm definitely not. And I, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of stuff, but I do feel like I'm at a much better place than I was. I've turned into a kid a little bit again. Uh, I, I don't know what that's about, but I got into Pokemon and most of you guys are going to be like, what? <laughs> A lot of you guys who already know that, who are watching, are going to be like, yeah, we know. But for some of you guys who used to watch me and just you know, all the dating side of stuff or vlogs or sketches, that would probably be surprising to you. And if you don't know what Pokemon is, it's one of the biggest games and shows and just entertainment franchises of all time. And they do trading cards and stuff like that. And it's really fun. It's like a, a hobby, right? So I picked up a new hobby. No matter what I choose to do, I have built this awesome group of people. So many of you guys that I know are such good people that I want to try and, and reconnect with. I just felt like before I started throwing out random ass videos, I needed a little, hey, what's going on? How you doing? You remember me? But um, yeah, so this is just my little, hi, I'm still here. I hope you guys are doing well and have been safe and healthy throughout this this very trying year. I'm excited to, to start a little bit of a, of a restart here. So that's what this is. That's it for me, guys. If you haven't forgotten me, feel free to leave a like. That sounds so pity. Don't even, what am I talking about? That was just, who, who am I? <laughs> if you're excited to see some more videos, uh, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't by chance, or if you were unsubscribed because I didn't post for so long. I saw YouTube just deleted a bunch of my subscribers. I was like, damn, cool. I used to have a million subs. Now I don't, you know, so it's kind of sad, but hey, you know what? I'm gonna be one of the only YouTubers that can ever hit 1 million subscribers twice. That's my new goal, okay? We hit a million once, we can hit it again. That's going to be like the goal for at some point. I don't know, maybe end of the year or something. We'll try to make that be the goal. But And follow me on Twitch. I keep up to date with all that stuff I'm doing um, over there. And there you have it. I'm back. See you guys in the next one. And as always, keep it real, Banana Peels. Bye.